Okay, in this series I've been answering questions that people have written in or put in comments. As you've seen, I've gotten myself in trouble a couple of times, but hey, too bad, you know? This is life. What do you people do at uh, family reunions, you know? We all got crazy people all around us. Anyway, this one is a great question. Who's smarter, a raven or a crow? Well, as I've said in other videos, I only have the common raven and the American crow in my area, so those are the only two birds I can really compare side by side on a daily basis. From everything I have to work with, they are pretty even. But how do they use their intelligence in the wild? I'd say it's a little bit different. It has more to do with their environment than the intelligence of the bird themselves. Wow, nice dive. In case you haven't heard me say it before, my ravens are more like a Midwest couple who gets married, homesteads a farm, and then in a big open space makes their nesting area in the country. Each couple stays on their own specific farm, raising their kids, just the two of them, together, year after year, we think, till death do us part. Some of my ravens have been together 20 years. From what I've seen, you basically have two ravens that do everything together side by side as a team. And because they stay together so long in the same territory, they get to know every inch of it. They also get to know all the animals that live there, and they know which ones are just traveling through, and depending on what time of year it is, they know which ones need to be escorted out. Ravens tend to shy from people until they know and trust them. To me, ravens tend to demonstrate their intelligence by their careful watchfulness, their teamwork, the intense patrolling and guarding of their own specific territory, their devotion to each other and their young, and the way they're willing to go and get just about anything they set their mind to. Now, the crows in my area are generally lean more towards a gangbanger lifestyle. They travel in large groups, and there seems to be some sort of hierarchy and rank. In this gang, you tend to have a vast number of different personalities. Some are bold and brazen, some are quiet and watchful, some are just noisy alarmists, and then you have some who are just plain cowards. Crows don't care who's in their perceived area. They tend to act like they own it all. So they pick on most anything and everything that comes into whatever place they might be in at the time. Crows may roost quite a distance from where they spend their day. I don't see much of a couple that raises young together year after year, but I don't know if that is because they switch partners every year or they just don't live that long. Because it is a group setting, a crow's life is far more competitive than a raven's. Crows demonstrate their intelligence to me by their boldness to get whatever it is they want. One may test, another may see and imitate, or come up with something completely different. So there you have the quick of it. Loving couple-wise versus street-wise. Both are extremely resourceful and will go to great lengths to achieve their desired goals. Once someone does something worth recognition, both will remember that individual sometimes for years. Both are smart, and if you search YouTube, you will see that both are great with all kinds of unique puzzles. Numerous researchers have had better results with ravens and crows than they do with almost all other animals in intelligence testing. Both use tools and both can beat the shit out of a chimp in most all and any tasks. Oops, did I say that? But I have to add, overall, ravens may appear more intelligent to me because they work so closely with only one other individual. And once they get your trust, they behave normally when I'm around. With crows, I just don't seem to be able to break into the gang, so I'm always the outsider. So I'm convinced their different environments make a huge difference. But I will say, either one of them, when raised in a human-to-pet-like environment, they are very, very much alike. They are equally just as mischievous, just as goofy, just as loving, and just as fun. Both are tricksters. Go ahead. Push it off your roof. There we go. Silly bird. And I say that for the most part, because like a dog or a cat, there's always that one who ends up disliking everyone and everything. And then you get to experience their intelligence in ways you'd rather not. Thanks for watching. Crows and ravens playing together.